Boys Soccer State Playoffs tonight. Let's start in 2A where the second seed Green Central Rams were hosting Spring Creek. The Rams have won 22 out of the last 23 games, only having one regular season loss all season to D.H. Conley one month ago. Let's dive into the action. Ricardo Arias' Rams are playing in the third round of the state playoffs for the first time in school history. Never made it this far before. The game went into overtime, tied at one, and in the extra period, Nathan Drake finds the back of the net, and the Rams have the lead, two to one. Drake fired up. Then Spring Creek later tied it on a long goal, but watch Ario Nunez leap over the goalie, and he delivers another strike for Green Central, and the Rams have the lead back, three to two. Later in the period, it's Ariel Nunez again delivering his second goal of the game and the exclamation point. Green Central takes down Spring Creek 4-2 to advance to the fourth round and will host Jordan Matthews out of Siler City on Thursday. Next we go to the 3A where the defending state champion Croatan Cougars hosted West Johnston in the third round. West Johnston was up one to nothing in this game, but back came the Cougars with number three, Danny Metcalf. That's a Croatan goal and we have a tie game at one apiece. Then off the corner kick for the Cougs. The ball finds its way to Jack Melton and the freshman with the header to give Croatan the lead and it's 2-1 now. Later, a perfect pass to the senior Alex Amato. He's out in front of everybody and he drills the final nail home in the Croatan victory. Cougars get the win 3-1 and advance to the fourth round well, they're where they will host Lee County next on Thursday. James Keenan and Jacksonville soccer both fell tonight. Their seasons are done. Let's go to men's college basketball. The ECU basketball team opens the regular season tomorrow night at Minji's Coliseum against South Carolina State. ECU returns a core group of lettermen led by J.J. Miles, Tremont Robinson White, Tristan Newton, and Brandon Suggs. But it'll be a different look this year for ECU without the team's leading scorer from the past few seasons in Jaden Gardner, who transferred to Virginia in the offseason. Last season, ECU finished 8-11, only 2-10 in conference. The preseason rankings have them finishing last in the AAC conference as well this year. But the team did take down a top five team last year in Houston, and head coach Joe Dooley knows this roster has potential. We'd like to play a lot faster. That's been something that we wanted to do. We wanted to play faster. I think we have played faster in the scrimmages. Uh, I think a big way to play faster is obviously to get some defensive stops and then get out and play in transition. But the guys have done a pretty good job. I think we've pushed the ball better. I think we'll, we'll play a lot faster. But I think you have to be able to, uh, be able to play multiple ways when teams do slow it down. Tip-off for South Carolina State at ECU is 7 p.m. tomorrow night. To the NFL, the Carolina Panthers fell to the New England Patriots 24-6 yesterday in Charlotte. Sam Darnold threw three interceptions, including two in the red zone, one resulting in an 88-yard pick six. Darnold's job as the starting quarterback in jeopardy, but for now, he believes he's still the starter. You know, I think just, you know, with some teams playing man covers and then disguising, getting out into zones, I think it's it's me being patient and understanding that, you know, sometimes it's better to just check the ball down instead of forcing it. I got to stop turning the ball over, and um, you know, as far as I know, I'm the starting quarterback. So continue to, you know, play and continue to, you know, give it my all for this team. Panthers head to face the eight and one Arizona Cardinals on the road in Week Ten this Sunday. Panthers trying to figure their season out. They are four and five on the year. That's your take on sports, Donnie. Over to you. Well, let's take a look.